For the ancients, science was grounded in observation. Even today, many of the questions science attempts to answer begin with an unusual sight. But we would not be able to make observations or see the world at all without light. But what is light? We can't touch or taste or hear it. And usually, we can't even see light completely on its own. We see light as it is filtered through the atmosphere and reflected off different surfaces. To understand light, we need to understand a larger group of energy, known as electromagnetic waves. Light is a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and all the types of waves in this spectrum share certain properties. All forms of electromagnetic energy, including light, are waves. And as waves, they all have frequency. Frequency is usually defined as the number of waves that pass a certain point in a second. The difference in frequency is a result of the size of the wave. A longer wavelength corresponds to a lower frequency. Electromagnetic waves are organized into types based on frequency. At one end of the spectrum are radio waves, which have the lowest frequency. The spectrum moves through microwaves, infrared rays, visible light, ultraviolet rays, and X-rays to gamma rays, which have the highest frequency.